Um, part of the process is after a site is selected or a site is selected to pursue, the landman will approach the property owners and when the property owner is interested, we will prepare a sketch, what we call a sketch plan that shows the proposed water impoundment or the proposed well pad. The landman then present that sketch plan to the property owner and the sketch plan will show the location of the pad or the impoundment, access roads, trees to be cleared, etc. Then through negotiations with the landman and the property owner, the owner will request changes to be made to accommodate the owner, to accommodate their desires. Uh, some of the changes could be move the access drive away from our house or revise the plan to avoid clearing the stand of trees. Uh, one particular instance in Jefferson County, Ohio, there was a privately installed gas line that provided service to a barn and accessory structures. And um, after the surface use agreement was signed by the property owner, we discovered that this gas line was going to be impacted by our construction. So what we are doing is working with the landman, the property owner, and Chesapeake Energy to make sure that this gas service remains to the barn during construction and that the gas service is going to stay in place and operational after construction.